Energizer is in Olds 307. Oldsmobile Toronado. It's time to crank this baby up. Hmm. Two empty spaces. Acura. Adjust, 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 adjust. Outside. Dead battery. Huh. It's funny. Nice flowers. I started that Acura up every uh, month or so. Corvair. Sleeping. Tornado. I cranked this thing. It never started because I never pumped the gas. But today is a pumping day. And I have a new flashlight. Yep. It's a big hot dog sucker. Woo! A friend of mine works at BMW and he got me a new flashlight. See? Some interior lights here. Oh, yeah. Jim and their interior lights. See? BMW. I'll think of some acronym for it in a second. So, I'm going to crank this baby up and I hope the battery is good. I've been cranking it various times during the winter. So, pumpage. Key. Oh, yeah! Junk. Junk. Ah! Isn't that funny? I cranked this thing up so many times in the winter, just for a few seconds. You know, and then stopped, just so, whatever. And now it's deadergized. Hang on a second. Look at the rust. This car's in pretty nice shape. My brother bought it from an old man. Ooh, electrical tester. I'm digging my pocket here. Somewhere in my pocket, I've got a Sharpie. Deep down, way down. Come on. Come on. No, I'm not playing pocket pool. There we go. Sharpie. Energizer. Junk. Junk. Uh, so i got to go get something. Crank up. I suppose I'll get the Acura. Oh, look who's here. I know who this is. This is Mr. Moggs. Ah, what are you doing underneath the Hyundai? You know this comes from a communist country? Oh, I thought it came from North Korea. Moggs, are you too hot? You're getting shaved, you know that. You're going to get clipped, Mr. Muggs. Poor baby. He's a good boy. Small tires. Well, you're barfing up there, Muggs. Acura. This thing wouldn't start either. I started this thing up a couple months ago. I had it running. But, anyhow. 132,000 miles. Come on back. Come on back. Come on back. Beep, 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 beep. Come on back. I already crunched the door once. Uh, power window down. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's got the best YouTube channel of them all? Come on, the back. Beep, beep. Uh oh. Got the door open. Hmm. I wonder if the bumper will close the door. Crunch the door. Bumper door closer. Whee! Perfect. <laughs> Don't tell my brother. <laughs> All right. All right. Hey, where's the Oldsmobile badge on the mirror? Cheap joke. Yesterday was a busy day. I was going to post those videos and waiting for them to save, and I fell asleep, and I woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning on the couch. 
Anyhow, I'll get the booster cables. We'll be back in a minute. Look at the nice roses. Soon we'll have Japanese beetles devouring them. Peonies, bleeding hearts, more roses, more. I think these are peonies too. These peonies have stronger stems. Those always fall over. Every single year, same thing, they fall over. Maybe they're drunk. <laughs> Be back in a minute. Okay, we're back. Booster up. Got my cables connected. My nice thick cables from China. Sears, half price. But there's lots of good wire inside these cables. Don't be fooled by thick rubber with nothing inside. These have got lots of good copper. Good Chinese copper. R134A. So where were we? Oh yeah. Gonna crank this baby up. Jeez, these freaking doors weigh a ton. They weigh as much as this Jap scrap beside it. So I don't know if anybody heard, but I mentioned in the previous video that piss on Jap crap is alive and well and doing just fine. He's not drilling right now. He's a driller. An oil well driller. But he's not drilling right now. He's bailing hay. Ready? Craig her up! Woo! Marketplace. Nope. Tom Ashbrook on point. Crank her up! Wow. Cranks right up. Not bad. Holds mobile. Cancelled. Quick, 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 quick. This car is going to be on eBay soon for sale. Anybody want to buy a Tornado? With, I think it's got 30,000 miles. It's a 1985, and it's got just a tiny bit of rust. I would call it rust-free, but it has a tiny bit. It needs a little bit of detailing. Anyways, I'll just disconnect the battery from the good vehicle, because the battery that was dead a moment ago could be giving off gases as it's recharging itself from the alternator. And battery gas is not good. It's worse than body gas because it'll friggin blow up. So I'll put the cables away and then we'll drive these two suckers out. Maybe we'll have a demo derby. Be back. Alright, where were we? Pull this sucker out of here. With that crunching. It's close. Very close. Like big paws headers to his drive shaft. Uh oh. Woo. Look at that. 15W40. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Got a doggy in the driveway. Mogs. What are you doing blocking the highway? Bugs. What are you doing on the highway here? What are you doing? Bugs. Are you a roadblock dog? Who trained you to block the road like this? Hmm? Don't spit it up on the camera. Good boy. I missed a great video opportunity this morning. Couldn't really do it. One of our tenants got cordially evicted. A couple too many parties, out you go. He was paying 500 bucks a month for a beautiful two bedroom because his co-tenant, his roommate, couldn't make it. And the roommate's father was paying the rent for months. So this 25 year old guy who's a nurse at the local hospital. He's having parties every month or so, and at 12.15 I got a call, I went over there, I said, that's it, you're out. Pay 500 bucks a month for a thousand dollar a month apartment. Big two bedroom, beautiful lake views. Anyways, he agreed to move out, and uh, went to look at the apartment to do his move out this morning. 
and we noticed that there was a big gouge in the brand new linoleum on the kitchen floor. Brand new linoleum. Just put it in before he moved in. And when he moved in, he and his father took meticulous notes of the damages in the apartment. I mean, meticulous. A chip on a windowsill and, and, and blah, blah, blah. All little stuff. Gouge on door. So when he moved out, we'd be able to check the damages that were there and not charge him for it. Anyways, there's a gouge in the kitchen floor and it wasn't there when he moved in because there was no damage. The linoleum was brand new. So, he says, you're wrong. I have a picture on my camera dated the day I moved in, which was May 2009, about a year ago. So, better leave these doors open. Corvette hubcaps. So anyways, I said, uh, huh, very interesting that you've got pictures in your camera dated the day you move in and we have no note of it on the move-in sheet. So we asked him to right-click on the picture and scroll down to properties and wouldn't you know it, the picture was created yesterday, dated a year ago, May 19th, but created June 7th, 2010. He says, how'd you do that? said, same way you manipulated your pictures. Anybody can put any date of any picture on your camera. You just go into the date settings. But the computer always remembers the day things were created. Anyways, wouldn't it take responsibility? But what a waste of time. Would have been a good YouTube moment when I said to him, right click, let's go to properties, let's show the date. I said, you can fool your next landlord because now you'll know the trick. But you can't fool me anymore, right, Muggs? All right, we're going to put a trailer hitch on the Acura and maybe take the Oldsmobile.